Back in 1999, it took police over three weeks to identify the body of a 26-year-old black woman found in a ditch next to a highway in Vineland, Ontario. Her name was Nadine Gerzinski. We refer to the ditch where she was found as the dump site, a location that can be very helpful to investigators in establishing more information about a killer. Dump sites play a key role in determining which category a killer falls into, organized or disorganized. Organized killers generally hide or dispose of a body in a place that has already been chosen, been pre-selected. They often plan their murder and also their dump sites are usually hidden, but still accessible by road or by foot, at least to them. Because disorganized killers act impulsively, they instead typically leave a body at the scene or make little effort to conceal the body. While these categories, organized and disorganized, aren't always exclusive, Killers who dispose of their victims in secluded locations tend to have more psychopathic and organized tendencies and will usually have more than one victim. Although we don't believe Nadine was killed in the ditch where she was found, it does indicate the MO of a disorganized, comparatively impulsive killer. It's natural that some members of this civilian squad of experts have been unnerved when visiting these dump sites. I understand that, but it's also been my job to show them that a dump site can prove valuable in fact, be an invaluable clue in helping catch a killer.